Here's something that diets don't address. How the information you're consuming impacts the food you're consuming. Stay with me here. I'm talking about your environment. I'm talking about all the things coming at you, all the information you're taking in, whether it's what you're listening to, what you're watching, what you're reading, who you're listening to, who you're watching, okay? Start paying attention to how you feel when you're reading, watching, listening to certain things, certain people, information, all that stuff, okay? Here's an example. If I watch too much news, it sends me into a state of despair, okay? <laughs> now, so we're there's a there's a very fine balance that, you know, where you want to remain an informed citizen and understand what's going on in the world, um but also, you know, being careful not to consume too much. There's opinions everywhere. We have so much information available at our fingertips. It can sometimes be overwhelming. Um, it can sometimes be inaccurate, as we all know. And so being really mindful about, you know, how you're feeling based on who and what you're watching and listening to can be really helpful because when that stuff leaves you feeling, wah, wah, guess what? When you struggle with food and emotional eating, you feel eh, you're going to look to food to boost your mood and feel better. Okay. That's how the emotional eating cycle works. So just start doing an inventory, check in with yourself, notice how you feel and then make necessary adjustments. Okay. If you want to get more on this topic, because it's an important one, head over to Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Fat to Fierce, The Confidence Chronicles, the episode this week is all about your environment and how your surroundings impact your relationship with food. Have a good one.